In this video, we will discuss the seamless cloning technique Gibson assembly. Similar to overlap extension PCR and infusion cloning, Gibson assembly is based on aligning overlapping PCR products. Once amplified, the fragments are combined in one tube with three enzymes, T5 exonuclease, fusion DNA polymerase, and TAC DNA ligase. With the three enzymes acting simultaneously, ends are chewed back at their five prime ends, creating overlaps. Polymerase begins filling in at the overhangs, preventing excessive enzyme chewing. When stable, compatible overhangs are created, ligase completes the fusion of the DNA fragments. Once ligated, the original overlapping region is now protected from exonucleolytic activity. Overlaps are built into the PCR primers. The fragments must be designed to overlap with each other as well as overlap with the ends of the linearized vector. Let's start with the pros. Gibson assembly is fast. There are no limitations imposed by the presence or absence of restriction enzymes. And updated Gibson assembly reagents now claim to be able to combine up to 15 separate fragments. Gibson assembly is a completely seamless and sequence independent cloning technique. Even with the highest fidelity PCR enzymes, there is always some rate of mutation. In addition, sometimes there are errors introduced at the recombination junctions due to the Gibson assembly reagents themselves. We need to use fairly long oligonucleotides for, as our PCR primers. Longer oligos are more prone to PCR artifacts. Originally, Gibson assembly was not described as working well on fragments less than 200 base pairs in length. Second generation Gibson assembly kits have been designed to efficiently assemble smaller fragments. To learn more about molecular cloning, visit snapgene.com.